In a game as competitive as Counter-Strike Global Offensive is, exploits are kind of a big thing. Overpass has been notorious for sporting certain boost spots which may not have been intended, and that some may even consider to be overpowered. The most infamous example is the Olive Boost, which was used to great effect by Fnatic back in 2014 to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat against LDLC during the quarter-final stage, before forfeiting the match and handing the win back to LDLC. Exploits don't pay. In official tournaments. That boost was quickly patched up, but since then numerous others have been found, likely through trial and error. But what if there was a way of finding these things scientifically, using maths and stuff? The people over at Exploit Mafia, known as Vex Adros, Classic and Smurf Destroyer, who showed me the Spectator exploit a few years ago, have done just that, as well as discovering reliable methods to achieve them. They showed me pixel surfs. These occur where the top of one surface meets the bottom of another, like a texture or clip brush. You can tell because the textures of both will usually look different, and by turning on wireframe mode, if there's a line between them then it's pretty likely that they're surfable, provided that you can get to the right height before jumping. There doesn't need to be anything sticking out, and they don't even need to be visible textures. Once you've jumped and have initiated the surf, you'll slide along relative to the direction that you're looking. To remain surfing, you must keep holding the direction buttons pointing towards the wall that you're surfing along, or you'll just drop straight down again. Pixel surfing will allow you to gain a view of the level that you otherwise wouldn't. You'll be able to see over walls, it can suspend you in positions that other players might not bother checking. Plus, while some of these spots require boosts to get you there, once you start surfing, you can do it alone. And if that's not enough to interest you, you can shoot while pixel surfing. It thinks you're midway through a jump, so your accuracy with most weapons is terrible, but SMGs will work reasonably well at close ranges, and the scout fires with decent accuracy. Valve piece fix. The values you need to know are these. The height of your view is 64.09 units, a crouch jump raises you by 66 units, and your hitbox is 72.04 units tall, and CL show pause 1 will show your location in the level. The easiest way to find the pixel surf is to start with a slope, since getting the right height is the hardest part. Next, somewhere along that slope you've got to find a connection between two parts of the same wall. And now here comes the science. You find the height of the connection in the wall by lining yourself up exactly to it. Then you add your height to that number, and subtract by a crouch jump. In short, with all the maths done, for this type of pixel surf you need to be 1.91 units below the height of the wireframe that you want to be pixel surfing along, and then you simply need to run and crouch jump at it. And in case you were wondering, when I show an example that's at a height of 256 units, that's 256 units above the centre of the source engine's mappable area, and not 256 units above the floor below them. Any crouch jump pixel surfs that you can do on your own will only be about 66 units above the floor below them, otherwise you wouldn't be able to do them. Even once I've initiated a pixel surf, I'm not out of trouble. It will fail the moment I run off the edge of the wall connection that I'm surfing along, or if I stop holding the keys that keep me running towards the wall. But with a bit of practice, I can turn myself around, and then with a scout can fire off some pretty decent shots. It's often easier to be facing roughly the right direction before the jump, so bear that in mind. Not all pixel surfs are created equally. Some, like this one, are easy to pull off. Just get to the right height and crouch jump but others can be made to work by doing two more things. Firstly, you need to get as close to the wall as you can, simply running up to it isn't enough, you'll still be 0.03 of a unit away. Jump at it while pressing A or D and you can get that 0.03 down to a nice round zero. And then once you've found the perfect height, you need to look directly parallel to the wall, so if you run forwards you don't slide left or right at all. This will make some of the pixel surfs a lot easier to initiate. Sadly, maps are getting increasingly resilient to this exploit. Old maps used to have the walls made out of walls. It's not of much use anymore, but I loaded up the old Dust 2 and immediately found one that would let me slide around the corner of Short A. Armed with a scout, this would be dangerous indeed. This was made possible because this wall was made of wool. But newer maps, especially the Valve remakes and Cache, make everything out of displacements. Effectively making everything out of bumpy ground but without the bumps. I don't think this was done deliberately to stop pixel surfing, probably more to do with optimization. but from my testing, this modern approach makes it a lot harder to achieve the pixel surf in the first place, and then to remain surfing even if you do manage to pull it off. But these pixel surfs do still exist, and I'll leave it to Exploit Mafia to find and to showcase these, uh, apart from a few which I'll demonstrate now. While I've only covered ones that you can do on your own, 
The more exciting ones come from boostable spots, which may allow for you to see over walls that aren't often seen over. Over on Exploit Mafia's YouTube channel they have an example of one that requires a friend to help pull off. Your friend needs to be stood 73.95 units below the height of the connection between wall and clip brush. It has to be 73.95 since when stood on top of his 72.04 unit tool hitbox it'll bring you up to the magical 1.91 unit mark we've mentioned previously. This spot is ideal since the sloped sandbag will enable your friend to find the exact height needed to pull off this kind of boost. And there it is, yet another quirk in the Source engine that Exploit Mafia have bothered to research and to master, and I've only covered the crouch jump variety. There are all sorts of others that they've also covered over on their channel, like the standard jump type, and the run boost type which they even used to replicate that recent boost discovered on Overpass. They make it look easy, but it took them several hours to suss it out. The difficulty came from closing that 0.03 unit gap between the wall and themselves in the short period of time they had between hitting the wall and falling to the pixel surf height. Continuously strafing left yielded the best results in this instance, though even that didn't guarantee success. It's easy to take for granted stunts such as these, but a lot of hard work and experimentation goes into this, even when they understand the theory behind it. Check out a video of Vexatrosses here, as he was the one who found most of these jumps, and he helped find some bugs with my D-Nuke a few years ago. And see more examples of Pixel Surfs over on Exploit Mafia's channel here, as well as a more in-depth tutorial on how to get it working. Valve, please fix.